Models, 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 yeah, models, models, fuck with a bad bitch, nigga wanna try me, I'm a sad bitch, nigga don't know I get active, yeah, really I be acting so passive, uh, nigga try me, turn the past tense, I ain't with the cabin, bitch, you like the way that I fashion, baby, what's the move with the action, yeah, I ain't really weird, all the madness, yeah, yeah I give a fuck what you asking, pass him, how do you use a magnum, but so bad, baby girl, that you know I had to trash Yo, what's good, you two? It's the Cozy Boys back again with the Cozy Vibes podcast. Episode 7 is James. Drew. Jordan. And to my left, we have a very special guest in the building. Go ahead and shout yourself out. Hi, I'm Alayla. Okay, I'm not telling y'all my Instagram, but it's like... I'm gonna put it right there. Oh my hey, God. <laughs> what, right shop. There. what you got for us today, J-Dog? Do you hate when, um... <laughs> 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 Do you hate when someone expects you to read their mind? Um, yeah, I guess. But I used to do that to people. Like, I used to expect people to read my mind. So, yeah, I guess on the receiving end, I do hate that. So, you say you express yourself now? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 I do. What about you, James? What was the question again? Uh, do you okay. hate when someone expects you to read their mind? Someone expect, yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> like, like it don't even make, like, like people will be like you said a few ep- podcasts ago. You know what I'm saying? People will be like, you ask what's wrong, and then they won't even say like what's wrong. But like you'll know something be wrong with them, yeah, and then they won't say why. But then like they'll try to do things to like let you know. That's a girl thing. Yeah. Well, well, why? Really? Why? You I that? don't know. Like. I don't know. For me, it's a pride thing, like, or it's like I'm just deliberately being like stubborn as fuck, and like I'm not saying what's really wrong because I want you to like figure it out because I feel like you should already know. But you can't read my mind, so. Yeah. But that is a girl thing. Girls do that to boys, and boys be like, "Bro." So do it work? Do they end up finding it out? It just starts fights. Do you expect that's the thing? <laughs> <laughs> she started fighting. <laughs> Like, um, do I expect boys to do that? Cause not anymore. Because girls, they be asking like, "Is there something wrong?" I'm like, no, I just keep on asking. Like, there's nothing wrong with you. I really don't even care like that. But something actually wrong, or you just say no. Well, I, maybe they just feel wrong. like something's wrong with like how you're acting. Oh, well, then no. <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> Wait, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ju? What you think about it, bro? I mean, nah, I wouldn't get mad because you gotta know exactly what I'm feeling, like what I'm thinking, stuff like that. So I just see how it is. If you don't know, then you just don't know. That's fair. Really? <laughs> okay, back to what you said earlier, like it's a girl thing. Yeah. You said it don't do nothing but start fights. It doesn't, really, honestly. Like, because me, like, expecting. Okay, if I'm mad at Jordan and then Jordan doesn't know why I'm mad, but I'm like acting like I'm mad and I'm not telling him, he's just gonna be like, bro, what's wrong with you? And then I'm just gonna be like, nothing. And then I'm just gonna do stupid shit like send a text with periods. <laughs> <laughs> like just to piss him off and then him be like, bro, it's something wrong with you. And then I'm still not saying it. And then it causes a fucking argument because he's still trying to figure out what's wrong. And I'm just still like, nothing. <laughs> Nothing is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say what you Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I knew it was gonna happen. Oh my god. No, no. What do you guys say, twin? I'm just saying, that shit is just annoying as fuck. Yeah. Like, you just texting normal as fuck, but then I know it, you just sending periods. Like, that's how I know you're mad. You're gonna tell me you're not so now I gotta figure out what's wrong. Yeah, you're just sending periods. Like, that's how I know you're mad. You gonna tell me you're not, so now I gotta figure out what the fuck wrong. And that shit is just so annoying. That was it though. That's all I had to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good input. I like it. I like oh, it. Oh my goodness. It's a hard day. It's a hard day. Damn. So you never found out? What do you mean? How how would you how would you, how would somebody go about like finding out what's wrong with somebody? How would you want somebody to find out what's wrong with you if you're I not mean, gonna tell them? I feel like the old me would have been like, you know, I want you to question me and I want you to go dumb trying to figure out what's wrong. But the new me, because I'm mature, 
Um, I would just tell you what's wrong because it's just going to cause a whole bunch of shit. And I don't want it to cause a whole bunch of shit because then I have to sit there and argue back and forth with you. And that's annoying. So the new me, I would literally probably just tell you what the hell's wrong. I feel like when girls do that, um, I don't be, I, I think I don't be doing shit. So I'm not, gonna, oh I don't know God. what I can ask. Like, that, that you know is true though. Like I didn't do shit. So what the fuck am I going to ask you? So it's like everything's going good now. Nowhere you start take some periods and dry and all that, and you still don't know what to do. And you I mean, but you have to think about it. Yeah, you had an amazing day. You went shopping. You went, <laughs> you went shopping. You went and hooped. You broke my yeah. ankles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Dunked on but somebody. you got to think about okay, like what if you like she go on Instagram and you like the girl she hate picture. Then she mad because like why the fuck you like this girl and you know I don't like this girl. You supposed to not like this girl because I don't like this girl type thing. That might be why she's mad. Girls get mad over nothing. And I'm a girl, I'm telling you, why like, we literally get mad. Well, that's why I, I would never oh, put myself nothing. in that situation. But what if you ain't know that I ain't like her? But I would never like a girl that's. I just feel person. like she ain't gonna be mad at you for no reason. To oh, be honest. I feel like girls would be finding reasons to be mad just because. Sometimes they like do. to spice it up. Yeah. 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 I want to see if you care. I'm gonna start an argument. See, <laughs> like, why don't do that? That's so stressful. It's a lot that really do that i used to do that like when i was way younger but now like i don't start a fight if it doesn't like mean anything to me like if i'm starting a fight because i'm bored that's childish as hell i'm gonna say that, girl, that's that is so childish it's so, it makes it's so bad and it's and like, like, and it pushes you like, away yeah and like you don't want to do it like um yeah i was bored so i started something like that's I'm dumb as hell yeah so <laughs> i've seen on tiktok a lot people be like i, I started arguing with my boyfriend just because i was bored yeah like, like the girls like, will post like that, it bro. the girls will post it and like i and then like the girls in the comments will be like this shit ain't cool they be like, he's not gonna pick you like it's not that we don't want somebody to pick us it's just like like being like knowing that i've been in that situation like being that girl like if i were to do that to my boyfriend like i would literally Drive him away from me slowly because no guy wants to fucking put up with that shit all the time. It's old. It gets old. Like, be mature. Grow the fuck up. Anyway. You heard that? Grow up. Don't do that. <laughs> you right there. Just grow up. Oh, my goodness. I know you're looking back. We talking to you. You see um, him, Layla? Yeah, I see him. You grow see up? him? Grow you. up. You. Grow, grow up. up. Come yeah. on, dog. Yeah, grow up. You got a lot of mature energy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. You got an HJ, dog. I went first. Oh, you went first. You know what I'm <laughs> I got a question. Okay. Do you think your parents' opinion matter when it comes to your relationship? No, not at all. I think that's because I grew up very rebellious. Like I don't really go with the norm. Like parents, um, a lot of parents can be extremely controlling, and like I've dealt, I'm dealing with somebody right now where his mom is like extremely controlling over what we have going on. And I don't think her opinion matters, but she is like so adamant on being his his girlfriend too. I don't think people understand that. Like, I really don't think that your parents' opinion matters if you really like somebody. Like if you're just fucking around with somebody just because you can fuck around with somebody, then maybe your mama trying to give you some advice. <laughs> but if you really like somebody and your mama just being like blatantly like weird and you know it, like you feel it, like. No, I, I don't think that, that shit matters. I but feel, that's just me. I feel like it mattered before, like when I was like 15, 16. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. it was a very sad story because I really wanted her. And I couldn't <laughs> have her because, you know, she did some very nasty deeds on the internet. And I was like, damn. But I didn't have, I didn't have no problems. <laughs> you know? What? But I think I think my dad saved me from that because now looking back at it, I, I'm so glad he did that. But now it really don't matter. She wasn't like, bro? I'm confused. Yeah, no, she did. She what did she do? She, Who, went she set some meat on uh, on camera. Wow. So is this a, is that type of podcast, huh? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Who is we talking about? <laughs> Who are we talking about? I can't say no names. That's the. Best All right, man. Ju, All right, what do you think about your parents' opinion <laughs> in your relationship? Um, well, my dad. It matters because like he be saying some real shit. <laughs> like, hey, watch her for this, watch her for that. My dad, like, she ain't doing that. Next, you know, she doing that. So, like, yeah, it definitely does matter sometimes. At first, like, when you first start out, that's when you get to see, like, who they really are and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. And if my dad knows some business about her, then you know that's wrong from the jump. So, yeah. yeah. That's from experience. That's from experience, too? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's experience, though, that stuff. 
they say parents know best. Though. Yeah, because they're like, older than that. I mean, yeah, some, 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 some. <laughs> not all parents. Even though parents do, you know, they are wiser beyond our years because they've been here longer. Some of them don't apply that logic the right way. Right. Like True. some parents don't really know how to go about. They think that they are being, you know, like right. Like they think that they're doing right by you, but sometimes it can be smothering and it can be wrong. Yeah. Because, you know, as we grow into ourselves, we know right from wrong type thing. But, like, some parents don't know what the fuck they be talking about. Most parents, they, they some don't. <laughs> Not saying my mom, if she sees this, my mom did a good job. But anyway, yeah, next question. Take moments to subscribe too. Oh and like and comment. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Oh my god. And you gotta share the video on Facebook. Hey, because I love this on Facebook. Oh <laughs> but don't, don't, you know what I hate though? Mm -hmm. Say like you actually really like somebody, right? But then like your parents just don't like them. Bro, that's the situation that I'm in right now. For real? Yes, like his mom doesn't like me because she feels like his mom doesn't let him take accountability for anything. So like, he has a failing grade or like some shit goes wrong like it's my fault i'm distracting him i'm the reason why he's not doing well that's how she is oh she wanna help. she don't like me at all type thing and i just be like like i distance my like i introduce myself to her type thing and like she faked like she liked me the first day and then it was like after that she just switched and like i brought it up to him and like you know he confronted her with it but she's like I know women really can't be narcissists, but like she's narcissistic as fuck and she's very controlling. So like if she can't control him, then she doesn't want anybody to mess with him. Like she literally wants him to be alone and like with her. Like mm. that's your son. Mm. Not your yeah, boyfriend. That's, that's, that's deep right now. Exactly. That was kind exactly. of Exactly. And I'm struggling because <laughs> like she be making me feel like I am the problem. Like she be saying, you know, you're distracting him, you're doing it. So I'd be like, damn, is it me? Like, you know shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like in my head, and I'd be like, it's my fault. I'm so sorry. Like, it's really my fault. But I'm like, damn, is it my fault? So I'm like struggling going back and forth. Like, do I want this relationship? Because this lady made me want to kill myself. Like, yeah, like she really got it. She in there, but I don't know. I'm doing what I can. But yeah, some parents really, really crazy like that. Like, if they don't like them, they feel like you're not allowed to like them. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, think peace. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You think peace. Did that ever happen? Well, my dad don't like somebody, and he want me to mess with him. Yeah, and you like them, or maybe somebody parents them like you. No, nah, parents love me. Parents love me too. Yeah. Exactly. Like parents I've never you. had a problem with a parent to this lady. Yeah. Damn. Parents like, oh, Bro, you come over anytime, cook out, <laughs> anything. <laughs> I'm like, all right, sure. <laughs> yeah. Damn, dude. You like that? But how your dad ever not like somebody? Mm. Nah, I don't think. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, James? You brought anybody home? Huh? I haven't really dated nobody. Oh. But I mean, like, the females that, like, my parents have known. Uh -huh. I thought you had a little friend. No, nah, not no more. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's going <God? laughs> yeah, on? Okay. But yeah, I mean, like they like them, but it's just like they'll be they'll talk about them sometimes. Oh my god! In a bad way or a good way? Both. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like it's just like it'll be mostly good things. But like if it's something bad or like if they notice something, then they'll say it. Like if a wig crooked or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> simple stuff. Simple, simple stuff like yeah. that. But it's just like it's just like that one thing is kind of like it really like irked my nerves because it's just like it's not your relationship anyway. So I don't want to hear nothing bad that you got to say about the relationship because not like or not even like the real relationship like anybody I'm talking to like bro because it's like just let me handle it. You know what but I'm saying? Have you have you ever like thought about like you know your parents saying something about? you know, them, like, you wouldn't want, you know, their parent to say something about you type shit. Have you I'm ever sorry, thought about it? Like, a, like if your parents... <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 if your parents was talking bad about her, like, you wouldn't want her parents talking bad about you type thing. Is that... That's what I'm asking. Like, say her parents... Like, your parents was talking bad about her yeah. and she found out, you know, she would be like, well, I wouldn't let my parents talk bad about you type thing. 
It's not, you mean like let them. I mean, like, it's not, I'm gonna I mean, they're gonna say it regardless, but yeah. it's just like, like, how would you like put yourself in that situation? Like, would you like stand up and go to bat for her? Or would you just kind of be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's a tough one because it's your parents. Exactly. That's a good but question. I, that's a see, good but question. I was rebellious. I, I always spoke my mind on things. Like, that's just how I was like raised growing up. Like, you can speak your mind. Some people can't speak their mind. I, okay, I'll put it like this. What I be doing is, I'll say I don't like the fact that they saying something bad in the first place. Exactly. I'm just be like, bro, like I, I like I hate when y'all say stuff like that because it, it really gets on my nerve. Even though they might say a lot of good stuff about somebody that I'm talking to or whatever, it's just that that one bad thing. Like I don't, I want to hear that stuff, bro. I'll say that, but to like specifically go to bat for the person <laughs> that that they talking about. Nah. But you, but you know, know, if they no. heard their, if they heard her parents saying that shit about you, they would go to that for you. I don't so that's why I don't understand why they. Do okay, that. maybe they would, but me personally, if I'm not dating nobody, it's not that serious. Well, yeah. So why? But I'm just saying, so like I, in that situation. Yeah, but like in that situation, um, nah. <laughs> oh my god! Because they're not, because they're not like my real girlfriend. But I don't want to start like unnecessary arguments or say like stuff that. But, but I'll say like earlier, like. Um, I don't like the fact that y'all saying this stuff. Like, just don't say it to me, so I won't even have to deal with it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I will say that, but to specifically be like, y'all stop, y'all stop talking about her, bro. Y'all stop talking about. Oh my god, y'all be doing that, bro. Like, chill with my girl. You know what I'm saying? That my girl, mom. I love her on life. Oh, on life. <laughs> oh my you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's I wouldn't. Nah, I ain't never done that. Maybe when I get a girlfriend, I will. You're quiet. Mm-mm. Hey, go ahead and speak, eh? I, I, I ain't had no problem with that. My dad already know what it is. Oh, <laughs> my God. What does he know what it is? What, what's Cause it's in ninth grade, he's like, you need to go talk to a girl or something. Oh he had to say that's in ninth grade. Get along there. text me but not like everyday type thing like just like every once in a while so we knew each other so kira like snapchatted him and was like did you run a train on a Layla?" Mm-hmm. and he screenshotted it and he sent it to me he was like somebody lying on you i think i still have the receipts and i text i didn't even text her but i was just like what the fuck and then so kira asked that and i asked kira where she got that from and she got it from nadia so you know I was just like that's so beautiful like great I was like what the fuck I've never even like I had never seen him in person ever like we had just texted and like Nadia like went dumb because we were fighting at the time and I was just like okay. you and Nadia were fighting? yeah because um, we had like fell out over some shit but that's nobody's business but anyway that's that's like the worst rumor I've ever heard about myself I don't think I've actually heard any other bad rumors but that's that's the worst damn. yeah i was like damn i don't remember that but okay what are you looking like that for <laughs> what is thinking about i don't even remember what like year this was i think it was like 10th grade 9th grade 10th grade uh-huh. i literally could pull it up on snapchat Man. I don't think I had any bad rumors about me. I don't think I'll be doing nothing. I don't, I don't think I've heard any rumors about y'all. Cause I feel like I'm a lovable guy, the teddy bear. Everybody loves me. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I'm capping, but I don't be. I don't. I don't, start, I don't start on nobody except Judy. Judy be starting posting stuff with people. No, I don't, bro. You got in a fight, bro? 
That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do that. Right? I didn't even do nothing. Petey got on your ass, but. I, I, I seen Petey the other day. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I was like, you remember, you beat up Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> I got a nigga up with <laughs> Hey, yeah, bro. You remember when you slapped Julius, bro? That shit was hilarious, dude. I ain't your touch. What is that? Right there in the locker room. Because I was so disappointed. He was just watching. I was bad. I was like, damn, when he go? He go to the He said, I had enough of y'all. He, 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 he said, I had enough of this shit. He, <laughs> he, he, he walked out. He walked out. He said something. I forgot what the fuck he said. He said something stupid. He said, I thought this was going to be a good fight. He said, like, that's such a short fight. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go walk in. <laughs> man, this shit was funny. Nah, this shit was old. Y'all niggas didn't even know he was right there. He was just watching y'all niggas. all the time. Who? Like, everybody in the bedrooms. Like, you would just, like, go home after school and see it on Snapchat. The boys in the locker room. And, like, especially the football players. Like, <laughs> yeah, the football players. <laughs> football Colin, players, bro. When Colin was... Hey, buddy, with the belt. Uh, yes, I remember that oh, video. Uh, I, had a neck brace I, I took I took the video because I remember yes, that. Yes, I remember that video. You got the video? No. Oh, I don't got that shit. No, that was that was crazy. That was yeah. that was something weird. That was a must. And he had a neck brace on. Why was he still fighting? Exactly. Oh, like, so, I was so confused. So so the thing was, uh, oh boy, what is his name? Solomon. He hit him with a belt first. He hit him like twice. <laughs> no, 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 no. Never mind. Take that back. He had uh, those shoulder pads, and he hit Cotto with it, and then he did it again, and Cotto got pissed off. But the crazy thing is, it looks so bad. This is a white man, like, <laughs> like <laughs> that looks so bad. I was like, bro, they finna go ham. That be all I see with Cotto is do do that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> he, he took the belt off. <laughs> he he whipped his ass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I forgot all about Something it. tricking his ass that day, boy. He went to do that bit. Yeah. And then, uh, wait, Ethan Patterson got slapped by Amari. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Boy, I had, I, I had the video too. Bro, I had Amari just took it. Hey, bro. The question thing, I had just went in like the stairway by the vending machine. Like, you know where the door at? By the vending machine? Yeah. To go upstairs? That shit was so loud, bro. <laughs> I said, God damn. I forget that. I think they were like slappers and just talking shit in general. And Ethan like, bro, you can't hit. And my what's his head? Like, how'd you go back and forth? And they were slap, but it was the worst time I said ever seen in my life. Oh my god. They were missing everything. The thing and then, I, and I then he walked he walked away and like he got up. <laughs> that was just slapped him. That was, oh my god. That was probably the funniest. You know, it was on World Star too. Yes, bro. That. Yeah. that shit went viral. As fuck. Oh, what it was on World Star. Oh, that was on World Star. I swear. I was like five years ago. <laughs> Doesn't know what Robin did. Yeah, we know not no more. Not this right up. But that, that shit ain't nothing compared to what Robin did. The first week I got there, I seen like three fights. But I like, God. Damn, yeah, niggas getting active over that here. Down that day. One round of bro? Bruh, they was on an intercom. That's how I knew I was in the fucking day, bro. You niggas talking about some. If we be good for this week, we get a treat. We ain't never seen that fucking treat. I was like, God damn. Bruh, what like treat? I don't, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck we're going to get. Probably a pizza party. Bruh. <laughs> and be like, and be like. <laughs> <laughs> It probably be like on a Friday, the the principal I don't know who the fuck it was, some ball headed name. I know like, who you talking about. Yeah, he was like, we were so close, guys, but <laughs> see, I might have got in trouble. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, this like, like, that's like your mama didn't sign the paper, so the class can't get the pizza. I was like, damn. <laughs> oh my god. I like, if we did this shit like Veras, we would have been cleaning this out the first week. Like, damn, right? We would have been eating every, eating good every Friday. <laughs> but stop, uh, better real bad too. Barely. Barely. I got hey, like really out good, like, they, like, crazy now. They're like vaping or in the bathroom when we were there. That's it. Yeah. Um, I saw a video of some girl getting a train ran on her. Like, excuse me, what? Yes, in the bathroom. Like the guys were running a train on her. Hey, and better? At veterans. When, when was it? This was like earlier this year. Like, out, so did us. Uh, yeah, I heard it changed the veterans now. Yeah, I heard veterans that loosened up a lot. Yeah, I heard that, and I saw that video, and I was like, it's no fucking way this girl's really getting. Her shit was right now. And she was. Dang. 
I'm gonna see if I can find a video. Damn. I think I have that a is, video. That's crazy. You learned something crazy? Crazy. crazy ain't. Yeah. I've been to like in the stairwell or something. Yeah. Bro. It was in, in the, the bathroom. bathroom. It had to be in the bathroom. It was in the bathroom. You know, girls were getting busy. And it was boys too. just all around. <laughs> Literally, like, yeah. boys was all around. Girl. I bet I it was. I bet gym classes on. They had to go to, like, Most yeah. likely, because that freaking bathroom, don't nobody be in there. Yeah, the game, the one by the, uh, when you first come in. Because I used to skip gym and just sit in there. I would go in there just to get on my phone. Oh my god! You talking about when they near the concession stand? Yeah, yeah. nobody would. No, no, that'd be the best. Those are the cleanest bathrooms before that games. That's the cleanest shit. Before games, hey bro, we gonna take a shit. Oh <laughs> and I would have been there playing pool or something. I'm playing Uno or something. Bro, I couldn't even play with y'all, bro. Y'all made me so mad. I ain't even had no iPhone. I ain't even had no iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. I got a video of that shit. Bro, James, James got his M time. It was our dad cracking in the dumbass. You want to play iPhone game, James? Oh, never mind. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was no. funny. Oh, my gosh. Dang. When did you get an iPhone? Christmas Day, senior year. I remember that. Because you were like, you posted about it. I, I remember it. that I vividly. Yeah. I think you faced up. I said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you got an H. Look at your iPhone. Oh, oh nah, because I remember I posted my first boomerang on Snapchat. It was Samsung and I had it. I was like, bro, oh wow. Oh, my gosh. Wait, Samsung did have that. I just never posted on Samsung because the video quality was always terrible. Yeah, it was <laughs> And the picture quality was always terrible. So I never really posted on Samsung Snapchat. And then when I got an iPhone, I got active, man. I got, got active. They didn't do the name. Uh, I had to. Yeah. 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 Can you settle for less? No. No? Why would I settle for less than what I am? Per. You know, some people do though. I think a lot of guys do. Guys, do, I feel like guys do. do that a lot. But girls and girls do sometimes. A lot of girls settle for less, like because a lot of like you can look good, but you really don't be offering shit. But a lot of girls like the fact that niggas look good, so they be like, oh okay, and they settle for less. You don't have to settle for less just because somebody look good. Like to me, but I don't know. Okay, let me change the question then. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> If y'all broke up, right? Uh -huh. Do you think they settle for less? It depends on if they feel like they did. I mean, I can't, you know, make a decision for nobody and say somebody settled for less. Shit, yeah, I think they did. Shit, I don't give a fuck. The downgrade? That was you trying to say? That's what you yeah, trying to say? Yeah. So you think every person that stops talking yep. to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So you think. Yeah, you they don't. Yep. I like this confidence. I love it. I love it. I You're love a him. It. Stop playing. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. You wouldn't, y'all wouldn't know this. I mean, y'all wouldn't know. I mean, that's holding yourself to that. Yeah. Like, you holding yourself up there. So, I, I mean, I can't be mad at you, but like, I feel like it is what it is. I feel like you feel like you downgraded, you feel like you upgraded. It don't matter because, I mean, I'm secure in myself. So, it don't matter to me. Mm -hmm. I don't keep up with my exes or what they're doing. That's true. I just mute the fucking shit. I don't give a fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I probably won't see you ever again. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't do anything, but they block me. Uh, yeah, so I can be getting blocked yeah. too. I'm like, damn, what did I do? How you do that? <laughs> I block. I mean, I'm a little crazy, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> I block if I feel like I'm going to talk to you again. Why don't you just talk to him? Because I just don't feel like. I feel like if I like you that much, but I know it's not going to work and I know I'm going to keep talking to you, that's manipulation. Because I'm literally like manipulating the situation knowing that it's not going to be what I want it to be. Like, it's just what I want it to be in my head. Like, I'm continuously talking to this guy because I want him to be the version of him in my head that he will never be. So when I continuously talk to him and he's still not, it just kills the whole thing. Like, I just be like, damn, I'm still fucking disappointed. True. So I can't. I like, damn. Like, I would, but no. So, yeah. That's why I block. But nine times out of ten, I don't really block. Because I don't really like. I don't like the end on a bad note. Mm. Like, I always rather us just, like, stop talking. So, right, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. But, okay. Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say, bro. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. I had a few questions. So I was like, oh my God. Julius, what is so funny over there? <laughs> yeah, Julius. You've been laughing the whole time. You've been looking at me. <laughs> what you trying to say? <laughs> I'm confused. I want to know. Speak. Speak, Juju. Spell the teeth. No, bro. <laughs> Speak, Juju. <laughs> what? Jordan is doing it. 
doing it. Facts are not doing nothing. Oh, gosh, you are. Why are you just doing it? Because you are reacting to your face. Jews reacting to your face. He's doing the whole fucking time. I was laughing at this nigga. <laughs> what laughing? I was laughing at this nigga. <laughs> bro. All right, bro. <laughs> Stupid. Damn. I forgot what the question was. <laughs> what are we talking? Okay. What'd you say for less? Oh, yeah. you said for less. I wouldn't. You only go up or higher. Why would you set up for less? Period. 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 No, 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 no. I'm fuck. <laughs> Do you think somebody else set up for less if they? Oh yeah, like, like okay. Um, I would know on blocks and everything, so I don't know what they got going on. <laughs> so I really can't say anything, but yeah, they probably did. Cause I'm the best of the best. <laughs> and they're better than me. Hell yeah. Oh That's facts. Facts. That's horrible thinking. No, it's not. How? It's self love. I'm encouraging. It is self love, but if you know that you have qualities that like certain people won't like agree with and like won't get along with and can't work with, then no, you're not the best for them. Um, I just feel like yes. you just stay long enough to find out, so you're gonna be able to find out. And it's, of course, <laughs> it's not hard to change. <laughs> But if you give me one chance, uh, you can't change. So, I mean, it is what it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Jordan. Can't read minds. <laughs> I like how you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to me and making somebody better. Then, yeah, I feel like they did better. Cause I, you know, you know, I think on TikTok, be like, yeah, you did that. Yeah, you did that. Okay, I, I see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, I know, really. If I, if I stop a relationship with somebody, it was for a reason. So it's obviously somebody better out there for you. Cause I wouldn't let I wouldn't let nobody stop me from going out and finding somebody else yeah. that I know is good for me. Exactly. When I'm with somebody that I know ain't the right person, you feel me? Ain't nobody got time to waste like that for real. Two seconds. Very much. Hey, you feel me? But other than that, I got a question. I got another question. What is the weirdest? DM that you have ever got. Yeah. Cause I know you got a lot. Cause I've seen your comments sometimes. A lot of DMs. I got a whole lot of money. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh, let me go through. I'm trying to think of like the weirdest DM. Party, party, party. I think the weirdest DM I ever got was "You're beautiful." Cause I don't get the fucking DMs like that. Oh, he's a girl. A girl says you're beautiful. Or a guy. It was a girl. Oh, that's saying. not that weird. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, but that's the only thing I can get, shit. I don't get DMs. Mm-hmm. Don't like me. You know, if I was famous, like, I mean, young boys, they probably get, like, coochie pit, like, hey, fucking <laughs> shit. Oh, if I had a blue that's, chair, it'd be different. I just yeah. thought about that, and girls probably do do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. dudes do that. Girls do that, too. It just got to be for the right person. Oh, my God. I would never do that. I don't understand why like, people really do that. stupid, real, low. Send your meat pit to, like, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, just turn you on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> They be posting this type of stuff on like Snapchat. Yeah. That's why I be like, girls get some of the weirdest DMs I've ever seen. So like, I'm probably gonna ask everybody that come on the podcast, what's the weirdest DM you ever got? Because I'm really curious. Because they get a lot. Like I be like, I saw Val one time. She posted one of dudes sent her a picture of a toilet full of Dookie, right? And he was like, if you don't well, like my Instagram, he, he said if you don't do something right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everybody that this is yours. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what? Well, I mean, it's smart. <laughs> oh, no, it's like you got a black man. I mean, but like, it's just shit, dude. bro. Like, that's <laughs> that, was, that was probably the weirdest thing that I've ever seen. And I know that females be getting them sugar daddy requests. Oh, I get I mean, getting sugar mama requests, but you know. Man, I want I that shit so bad, bad, bro. They be, be fake. Like, you gotta give me a $25 fee. All right, man. You get it blocked. Like, <laughs> I can't say I can't say that my DMs are weird. My DMs are just like me ignoring people, and they continue to to like slide up in my DM. Like they see the messages that I have not responded to, which is not like on purpose, but like for my sanity, I cannot go through all of my DMs. It's too many of them. So I talk shit. It's too many people in there. But I had one guy like slide up with a Drake lyric. He said it wrong, and I, I corrected him, and he was like, damn, now I got to exit. And I was like, yeah, like, 
like he said some i'm trying to find it you can't mess up the the whole he flow. literally like it was like it was like you know he's like um i'm from texas like i'm from like george Strait or something all my oh. exes live in texas like yes. george Strait. and he said something completely different and i was like and I said like what it was, and he was like so embarrassed. But like I haven't really had a weird DM. I might have had a weird DM like way back in the day, but I probably can't remember it. I have gotten dick pics though, like out of nowhere. Like I've had like a guy like spam me with like dick pics, and I was just like, well, because you're weird for that. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't please you're don't do that. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. that's scary. That's very scary. And it don't work. Nobody want to see that. No, I don't want to see that. They don't want to see that. Exactly. Anybody, don't want to see that. Literally. Just okay. You you gonna send that, and I'm gonna show a couple people. So <laughs> don't do that. Facts. <laughs> hey, but I'm like, look at this. Shit. Right, right, right. On the opposite side, of that how how could somebody actually slide into your DMs? Him right there watching. He wants to slide into your DMs. How should you go about doing? Don't. Oh yeah, I forgot you admitted. Yeah, don't. Just, Damn. Just don't. If you was single. How would a dude approach you? Yeah. In the DMs. Have a dumb question. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The way that I met the guy I'm talking to now is he DM me. And like I dubbed it for like a month. Cause I was working and I like wasn't in my DMs and then like he said something and I was just going through him one day and I responded. And then like the conversation just kept going. But like that's literally like I have to just be going through it and be like, hey shit, you know, like going through it. Maybe the conversation continues, maybe it doesn't. True. But like sometimes I just go through my DMs and I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you, just to do that. And like he said, what's up? Or he said, yo, and I just said, what's up? Like just to respond. And then the conversation just kept going. So I mean, if I was single, I guess just sliding it, but don't. Right. <laughs> don't do that. Just don't do that. So but you gotta be lucky to kind of, you know what I'm saying, get a text back. Not lucky, but like I don't go through my DMs. Like I like I have like like, you know, there's, like, the general and the primary. Yeah. Like, all my friends are in my primary. So, like, I literally, like, just swipe over and talk to them or send them videos. And the rest of them are just there. Like, if I know you, like, Hayden, like, he'll slide up on my music that I post. And I respond to Hayden because I know Hayden. Uh -huh. But, like, other than that, if I don't know you, like, I went to high school with y'all. Like, if I don't know y'all, I'm not responding to you type thing. And I have a lot of followers that I don't know. And, like, I love all my followers, but, like, I don't know you. You don't know me. You know what I show you. So yeah. Why are you smiling? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're doing this the whole time. Why? <laughs> what do you have to say? I didn't have nothing to say actually. I was just, oh my god. Making faces the whole time. Exactly. I can't smile. I'm in a great <laughs> mood right now. It's a great mood right now. <laughs> I'm just smiling. He kept getting closer and closer. Yeah. I feel like this. And he gets smiling. Like, are you good? Y'all gonna hop on me like? Yeah. Can I be good like that? No big talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Y'all, y'all need to blow my eyes. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like no cap. <care. laughs> <laughs> okay, I got another question. When you say okay, when you single, I don't want a man to get mad or nothing like that. If if you going through DMs and everybody just saying the same thing, what makes somebody stand out? Like what that is on? a really good question. Um. I think the thing that makes it stand out is like if it's not the same shit that everybody else is saying mm -hmm. because everybody literally says like the same shit so it would be like i have a lot of people that i have a lot of people that are in my dms that don't really like be flirting with me some of them be asking me like questions mm -hmm. and like a lot of the guys that be asking me questions like started off with a question that like would actually make me want to talk to you like you saying oh you're beautiful what's up beautiful like i see that like every that's why I turned my fucking replies off because it was every time and it was just like I see this every day and then I've had a lot of people get mad at me for um I had one guy he DM me and he was like you're so beautiful and I was like thank you because I was going through him and then I was like thank you and he was like I would love to get to know you more and I was like I don't know you you know you don't know me but I have a boyfriend type thing and he was like um but still like as a friend and I left it on open. And then he was like, if you didn't want to reply to me, that's all you had to say. And so I, was, <laughs> I went back and I was like, bro, like we do not know each other. Like you do not, like, I don't owe you shit. Like that's right. like, that shit pisses me off. Like I don't owe you shit. You don't owe me shit. Like that's that. 
So I don't know, just ask a question that doesn't doesn't piss me off and makes me actually like intrigued. Mm-hmm. Don't say what's up beautiful. You just a little mad. Yeah, I was a little hmm. You know, sometimes I block him. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> yes. Sometimes dudes don't be wanting to do too much in the DM. You want to be different, but you don't want to do too much. Cause yeah. sometimes, I feel like if you don't do too much, you're not going to get where you want to get. But <laughs> but say you miss your shot completely. She's just not feeling you. But even though the approach was perfect, you just not that guy. <laughs> Some females will, will screenshot somebody's DM that's just and post that's, it, bro. That's just a bit I want attention. I've never like done that like unless it was like some weird shit. Like, mm-hmm. if it was, like, some, like, a nigga telling me did it pics, like, I would literally screenshot it and be like, bro, like, look out for this username type shit. Right. But, like, I'm not finna, like, embarrass nobody because I wouldn't want somebody to embarrass me. Like, do you understand that? Facts, like, facts. a bitch that's embarrassing you is a bitch that wants attention. Like, she wants her friends to slide up and be like, oh, he, he tried it. Y'all. Like, I hate bitches like that. I hate bitches like that. But still, okay. like, yeah. no, like, that's literally, like, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt because we all human. Like, if you came at me like that, you know, and I'm in a relationship or I'm single and I'm not feeling you, I'm still going to be like, you know, thank you, but, you know, I'm not interested right now or I'm not, you know, I'm single. I'm not, or I'm in a relationship, like, I'm not single type thing. Right. I'm not going to embarrass nobody, though, but some girls really get a kick out of that. So I can't, you know, speak for them, but, like, I would just say do what you want to do and however a motherfucker react and however a motherfucker act that shit don't have nothing to do with you mm. yeah so if a bitch make you feel like you're embarrassed or something fuck her <laughs> like, <laughs> and we're back for commercial break what you got next for the dog do you feel a little missly or do you think you always had somebody to be there for you say that do i feel alone mentally? like or do I feel like I need somebody? Like, did you always feel like you always had somebody? Like, like growing up or like all, like growing up to now? Yeah, like growing up to now. I feel like I was alone mentally because I was very rebellious growing up. And a lot of my peers and adults around me didn't understand why. So, like, I was constantly labeled as, like, you know, delinquent or, like, bad or, like, she has an attitude problem. But I was, like... I grew up questioning everything and I grew up asking questions like I didn't just like think about it so I feel like mentally I was alone because a lot of my questions weren't getting answered and a lot of the behavior that I like portray people didn't understand because you know they weren't in my shoes they weren't experiencing my experiences so yeah alone mentally that's okay. deep I like that <laughs> I feel like the reason why I'm shy is because I used to get bullied and <laughs> that's why that's why I always used to be shy. That's why I, when I came out here, yeah, you see this nigga laughing. But when I came out here and I used to get on my PSP and shit, like that's why the reason why y'all niggas low key bully me. Bro, Still, I, we, I, I, I never, never bullied, bullied you about that. I, I feel saying, like, like they, they, even though it was like it might have felt like bullying to you, like they still like they love you for it. Like, like they didn't know me. But you <laughs> look at where you I are didn't now. Bully you I'm just saying, but they didn't I, know me. I, I don't like, think but I that's how you. boys do though. Like Maybe y'all do that like that. That was like the first day I met you. I didn't know them. Maybe they were trying to talk to you. That's the only way they knew that. But still, like, I did not know these niggas. Like, I just come to, oh, yeah. Apologize. You got me, like, the fuck? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about RJ and uh, Horace. Well, talk to them over here. Anyway, that's the reason why I always used to be shy. And that's why I feel like when I get mad, like, I don't want to get bullied no more. Because y'all niggas. I feel like, I feel like, like, I feel like that's why you're very defensive. Yeah. Like, all the time. Like, anytime y'all, like, go through some shit, like, Jordan will always pop off at you. Because yeah, Jordan yeah, has been grown up taking, like, Taking care of himself, like y'all, y'all be bullying Jordan. So Jordan be like, "Hell, now nah, you're not gonna bully me no more." Like, what the fuck? Like, so Jordan be like, "Yeah, hop off dicks type shit." <laughs> like, yeah, that's Jordan. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I understand that. Next, I got bullied. You know, I ain't gonna care. What do you got? <laughs> I got bullied in all throughout elementary school. Yeah, right? I think. Yeah. What? Well, I wasn't here for that, but RJ went to middle school. RJ could probably say yeah. Yeah, I got bullied I in middle school a little bit too. Elementary it's school. great. I remember, I remember uh, what's it called? There's one girl named Alyssa, white girl, and I was sitting next to Jacob. You know, Jacob, dark skin. Yeah. Cause 
She walked up. I just, I just said, I just said, I said back then that like it was, she was probably just being a little racist, but I don't know. I'm, I just blanked on that. But we was standing outside of class because we couldn't go in yet. It was during sixth grade. And she was walking by and then she looked at both of us. And we ain't never said nothing to her. But she looked at both of us. She was like, ew. I'm like, what? Like, what? Like, we was just chilling there and stuff like that, bro. I just used to take stuff like that and like all the way from like elementary school to like to heart, bro. I used to do really, really bad. Especially like back when I lived in Florida, but that, that shit used to be so bad. So, I swear to God, I was cool. I was cool with like one of them, like like popular kids, you know what I'm saying? But like I used to get bullied, especially like after school, until I started hanging out with some people that were older than me. I ain't never got like, bullied. I don't think. You just that nigga, huh? Like everybody just got along with me. They ain't got no problem. I was always quiet, so you ain't gonna say nothing about me. So. I was I was quiet too. They still used to get on my Jordan Sparks and shit. Like damn, they, I was like seven, <laughs> and you know she was popping like fuck. <laughs> I mean, who, who's Jordan Sparks? But Jordan she's Sparks, like, girl, she was like that song. Who's um? How, tell me how you can breathe with no air. With Chris Brown, um, you gotta sing a little bit. I, I was gonna say, can't you sing? Go you ahead, you can't sing. Yeah, air. not singing, but that I was horrible. But I know that song. Okay. You know, okay. Okay. we got we song. got mics and two ring lights, and you're not gonna give us a verse, I'm like, not. okay. I'm not gonna give you a verse. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. Jesus, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna play the song though. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that song. Yeah. That did don't work. That did don't work. I know that song. I love it. <laughs> I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna sing I it. I ain't gonna sing it. But I feel like I have people to talk to. I just never did. I never felt comfortable talking to people. I feel like that's a male thing. Like people don't. That's one thing that pisses me off. Is like society doesn't give y'all room to talk and be emotional and like express yourself. Like from like a young age, like it's taught to you know be hard. You know don't feel type shit so that's not really fair mm-hmm. and then they like yeah. gr- like it goes into like growing up like you have to unlearn those behaviors or keep those behaviors and a lot of guys you know keep that behavior growing up and they don't know how to express themselves to like the people that they end up with that's because people don't care not everybody doesn't well, care that's just people who aren't genuine and then if you do open up girl I'll call you the last beat they gonna use that shit to give you shit I've never done that yeah. well, most, most girls are gonna do that they gotta take advantage of that shit. That's just a girl who's not emotionally mature, so you should be like, like, like being like, okay, this girl can't handle me. This girl can't even handle herself, type. Cause like anybody that looks at you and tells you that your emotions are weak is like dehumanizing you. You're a human. Like even though you're a male, you still experience emotions just like a female. So just stop fucking. Girls. But sometimes parents, <laughs> sometimes parents do that shit too. Parents do do that, especially men, especially fathers. Yes, the, like dads um, teach you what they were taught. A lot of people in society now have to unlearn a lot of behaviors that they learned. And a lot of our job now is to, for our generation and our kids, is to, you know, like teach our children how to express themselves and like be a human. Because for so long, as men, like you guys literally grew up not knowing how to do that and it's like this should be the highlight of the whole conversation like men literally don't have room to express themselves to be men you know to feel type thing and uh, that's why like the suicide rate for men is so high because like y'all literally go through life not saying shit to anybody dealing with your things like by yourself and that's just not fair Mm -hmm. but anyway talk i feel like i'm used to it though to the right one though. though It's not a good thing. What's well, for me? Like, yeah, but you've time. learned that it's a good thing. I'm I'm just saying it's probably not a good thing, but like you guys like, I don't have to depend used on to nobody. it being a good thing. Yeah. But it's okay to depend on people. Especially people that actually care for you. I'm just saying, like when I'm lonely and shit, I don't gotta Oh, I wish I just have heard her or some shit. I can just be alone by myself. Well, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's different. I think you gotta be you gotta be cool with yourself first. I think that's what it. You have to be alone and like yeah, like really like love yourself and like be able to be secure in yourself before yeah. you can do anything. Facts. I had to I had to learn about myself, bro. Like yeah. I said, bro, I used to get bullied, bro. I used to hate myself. <laughs> yeah. I used to, I used to want to be I used to want to be uh 
I used to want to change my name and everything, bro. I used I used to want my name to be Max. Oh my goodness! Wow, no. I used to watch a lot of George Lopez. His son named Max. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Carmen. Yeah, I bro. love George Lopez. You know what I'm saying? I think fuck with George Lopez. You know what I'm saying? He's waking up and just seeing bouncing trampoline. Yes, in the middle of the night, it's like yeah. 2 a.m. and you look at the, the television and it's him jumping up and down. And that song, no, right? <laughs> that song was on. So yeah. hard. I remember right. that. That's like a core memory that just got unlocked. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. What about you, Ju? You felt like you was alone mentally? No, nah, I, was, uh, I was always able to tell my dad about anything. That's how it was. I feel like that, like, from, like, the time that I came in eighth grade to your, like, party, like, I've always, like, when I first met your dad, like, he seemed like he was very open with you. Like, you had that relationship, but a lot of boys, like, growing up don't have that. Yeah, at first it was like that. Fact. But I, I feel that he learned on his own to yeah. be open with you, which is really good. He learned to soften up yeah. as I grew up, basically. That's really when good. When I was young, I wouldn't tell him nothing. <laughs> and now, you see me like, now, hey, bro, what's up, what's up with you? Like, you got a girl pregnant or something? I'm like, no, dad. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, man, talk to me, man. What's look good? And I'm like, yeah, this happened. He said, oh, yeah, I feel you. Just make sure you do this and that. All right. But yeah, that's really how it is now. Did you, you see, you listen to him when he was younger, when he gave you advice? Nope. No? I think we all did that. Yeah. Like, nobody growing up used to listen. And then you get older and you're like, damn. You should have fucking listened. I should have listened. <laughs> and they like, say that. Yeah. They be like, you gonna get older and you gonna be like, I should have listened to my mama type shit. But you really do that. Like, you really look back and you be like, damn. Yeah, in the moment it feel right though. <laughs> 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 in the moment it feel right though. Like, what you talking about? Like, shut up, nigga. It's not talking to you. Yeah, it really does. It really does. Like, that's how I used to be. I used to be like, uh, I don't care about what the fuck you talking about. And then she'd be like, okay. And then you get older and you be like, damn. <laughs> yeah, you was right. Parents though, cherish them while they're here. Right. That is true. I'll cherish everybody and make sure you tell your people that you love them, yes, all of them, your friends, because life is short. short, you never know when it's gonna end. Yep. But, Alayla, to wrap this up, do you have any questions for us? Nope. Okay, well, with that, then it's been another Cozy Boys, Cozy Vibes podcast, episode seven. Thank you to our special guest today. No I feel I feel like that was a success. I feel like it was a good podcast. I, I liked it. it. Yeah. yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We got new videos coming out every week, so make sure you stay tuned in. And with that, we are out. With the cap in, bitches like the way that I fashion. Baby, what's the move? What's the action? Yeah, I ain't really weird all the madness. Then I give a fuck what you asking. Pass him.